My name is Devin Solanke. I'm a Robertson Scholar in the Duke Class of 2016, studying economics, and I went to high school in Montville, New Jersey. So the story of Powerhouse Protein is it's a crazy one, to say the least. I could say that it started back in high school when I was a freshman actually playing football. I was playing three positions, and Coach wanted me to play varsity, but I weighed only 95 pounds. So he told me, if I'm going to let you play varsity, you better put on 30 pounds this summer. And I said, OK. What do I need to do? And he said, take X, Y, and Z. And I looked up X, Y, and Z and said, no way in heck I'm putting this into my body. I want to find something that I can put in my body to get results and still be safe to take every day for the rest of my life. And I looked, through, I looked and looked for months and couldn't find anything out there that satisfied that. It so happened that I was working at a vitamin factory that summer, and one of the companies that we worked with produced protein for everyone. I called up the protein company and asked them, hey, we need three bottles of your highest quality stuff just to test out, you know. And the chemist at the lab turned to me, or called me and said, what is this call about? No one ever asked for that. Who are you? And so I told him, I'm just a teenager looking to try and get some protein that I can't afford. And he told me, I like your ambition. Stop by the factory sometime. But we ended up sitting down having a conversation. And I asked him, why isn't there anything out there that I can take every day for the rest of my life and feel safe about and still maximize my results in the short term for my fitness goals? Is it just impossible to make? And he told me, no, that's not the case at all. The market is still young, and so it's very driven by the retailers. And what they want you to do is buy your protein powder, specifically for your working out, and then a vitamin, and then omega-3, and then all of these other products. And before you know it, you're checking out and you look like you have a chemistry kit. They want you to buy everything in separate products. You can't have it all in one. And so I told him, what would it take to make something all in one? And he said, a lot of dedication. And I told him, that's something that I have. It's something I'm passionate about. And he ended up offering me a job, but instead of pay, I would stay an hour in the lab every day with him and we'd formulate something and work together. And over the course of two summers, we came up with the initial blend for our current project, the Total Fitness Supplement. So I dished it out to all my friends and I told them, take this, tell me how you think, this is what's in it, tell me what you think about the taste, I feel like you'll like it. And people came back to me and said, if this is how it tastes and this is what's in it and it's that good for you, then I, there's no reason this shouldn't be on the shelves everywhere. And so that's what really inspired me to start the business in high school. And when I came to Duke, I decided, well, this is time to shut down the business. I'm at Duke. I need to pursue a, a more reasonable career. And that's when I met Fabio Berger, who is, uh, ironically, another Duke Robertson, who told me, this is something you love. You can take it and bring it to the world. What's stopping you? And that's the question I had no answer for. There was nothing stopping me. So when I came to Duke with the resources of Duke i &E and Incube and a lot of other supporters, I managed to turn this into a full-fledged business that is now in 14 different states and two countries. So what started for me as a gig to get on the football team turned into something that I could share my passion with everyone. And I wouldn't have that experience today without everything that I've done at Duke.